Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform, please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing the Parmigiani Fleurier Tonda 1950 Loon. It is a moon phase version of the stainless steel Tonda 1950 micro rotor automatic. So it is 39.1 millimeters in diameter in stainless steel. It is 9.8 millimeters thick. It is 44.4 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, and it has a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throw it on the wrist. My wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see it is an easy watch to wear. Not only is it very narrow, from lug to lug, but the curvature of the lugs makes it even easier to wear. It's super flat, under 10 millimeters thick with a domed bezel. It'll slide underneath the cuff. This could absolutely be your dress watch. And I even go so far as to say that it is a unisex option. The timepiece features a strap, which is made by Hermes, the OEM supplier to Parmigiani, also a stakeholder in the Parmigiani family of companies. We have a large rectangular scale alligator leather in semi-gloss black monotone stitch, a flank that is sheer cut to show the layers of leather, and a super supple calfskin on the bottom. Taking a quick look at the buckle, you can see it's a Parmigiani piece, a twin trigger release, and then internally, you could see that there's a little mechanism for making uh, fine-tuned changes in the fit. And that is a wonderful little concession to the fact that some people will find themselves in between perforations on the strap. You have this little incremental slider that allows you to quickly and easily make these adjustments. And as you can see, there is a twin trigger release system. So you actually have to push some to release the buckle. It will not pop open. It's not a friction fit system. Taking a quick look at the case, you can see that it features a little bit of a recess in its end. See how it's flatted out? And that allows the lugs to be drilled exceptionally close to the case, which narrows the pivot centers between the lugs, allowing you to wear it on a smaller wrist and allowing the strap, while being very close hauled to the case, to still move without any impediment. The lugs are sculpturally set out from the case, beautiful polished metallic teardrops. You can see that they separate the vessel holding the movement and the dial from the ergonomic interface with the wrist. Taking a quickly the case, you can see it's all of high polish. We have a little Parmigiani Fleurier crown, a domed sapphire, a little pusher adjuster for the moon phase. And then on the dial side, we have a matte black dial with applique polished dark style indices, and what Parmigiani calls delta hands at center. They're a hybrid of Dauphine and Alpha. We'll do a quick loom shot here because the watch does have a reasonable amount of loom on the hands, though none on the dial. And then we have a nicely balanced dial that's fairly symmetrical from top to bottom. We have a northern and southern hemisphere moon phase display, and then we have a little date. And the date, as with some Omegas and IWCs, is a multi-aperture. So the aperture spans several days. If the minute hand is blocking your view, you can see the succeeding and preceding date. So even if the current date is blocked, you still know what the date is. Now you'll appreciate here, I've got this quick set system and there is a hacking seconds function. We'll turn the watch over, take a look at the case back. And it's based on the Vauche VMF 5401 micro rotor auto. Of course, Vauche manufacture is one of the Parmigiani companies. It is the movement supplier. Parmigiani is, is kind of like a Portuguese man of war. It's a bunch of independent self-sustaining organisms that come together to form a whole. All of these Parmigiani family companies are part of the same group, but there are specialists in hands and dials and cases and movements. And that is where Vauche comes in as the movement arm. Taking a quick look at it, you can see it's nicely finished. There's a micro rotor in there, and you can see right on the base that it is based on the 5400 family Vauches. It is a free sprung balance that is adjusted in five positions like a chronometer. So not only is it a very tough and resilient balance architecture against shock and abuse, but it is more precise thanks to the variable polar moment bolts on the rim that allow it to be adjusted in five positions without concussion having any potential to change the timing. The movement, of course, is flat like a manual wind with an open display vista like a manual wind because of the micro rotor, which is in the same plane as the other bridges, but you also get the convenience 
of an automatic winder. Uh, the balance beats weigh at 21,600 vibrations per hour. All this pivots on 29 joules. And you can see that the finishing is handsome with the beveling particularly convincing and the finish a uh, wonderfully judicious combination of manual and mechanical finishing techniques that's actually a little bit more convincingly manual than what you'll find on, for example, a standard Audemars Piguet watch. There are a lot of highlights, including the engraving on the rotor, the Côte de Genève across the bridges, the beveling or anglage on the bridges is attractive. All the screw heads have been polished, black polished. There's satination on all the wheels, including solarization on the ratchet wheel atop the barrel, and then you can appreciate that there are some black polished components, such as the base of the rotor and satination on some of the springs. Altogether, a very attractive movement in a watch that is 30 meters water resistant. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.